Hey guys, my name is That Quite Kid, and today I'm going to show you how we can exploit ESC8. So ESC8 is not a vulnerable certificate template, but a misconfiguration of a certificate authority. So what happens is when you are setting up a domain uh, certificate authority in a domain, if you have web enrollment enabled, web enrollment is basically used by your users to interact with certificate authority through the browser. If you have that web enrollment enabled, we can basically perform this ESC8 attack. So the attack scenario here is you have two domain controller, at least two domain controllers because you cannot trigger the authentication and relay it to the same domain controller. So for this attack, you need at least two domain controllers inside your uh, like domain, lab, anything you want. You have to have two domain controllers. One has certificate authority and one another domain controller. So the attack scenario here is that you trigger the machine account of a domain controller through Petit Putum and relay that to the web interface of the certificate authority. You can do that uh, using NTLM relay and through that we will get the certificate for that uh, certificate of the machine account of the domain controller using that certificate you can basically ask for the ticket granting ticket of that machine account of that domain controller and after that you can basically uh, dump all the hashes you can perform dc sync attack to dump all the hashes and like uh, after you have all the hashes you can use a domain admin to add yourself either add yourself to the domain admins group or create a new user for proof of concept so let's dive right into it so first of all we need to check if web enrollment is enabled or not for that we are going to use a tool called certify let me increase the screen size it's certify find dash vulnerable find vulnerable dash user is reze which is a normal domain user and the password is bomb devil vulnerable find an std out to print the output okay so okay i didn't specify the ip address dc IP is 192.168.0.170 so this is the domain controller which has certificate authority enabled okay so let's go up go up and you can see that vulnerabilities ESC8 web enrollment is enabled so let me show you what is that interface so this is my domain controller let me log into it and edge HTTP we can simply type in DC2 dot just a second dc2 dot berserk dot local slash slash sort srv I think okay so it is asking for the credentials if we don't supply the credentials you will see 401 so this is good so what happens is we are going to relay credentials to this like cert, uh, this web interface of the certificate authority and we will get that certificate for that machine account using that machine account we will get the tgt through rubius it's like a lot to take in but i will go through it one by one so let's first we have like figured out that it is vulnerable to esc8 so let's first uh, start up our ntlm relay so we can use impacted ntlm relay the target will be http slash uh, dc2 dot 
we can specify the IP as well 170 I think that is let me check CM IP config yes 170 is the IP slash sort SRV slash sort FNSH dot ASP we need to specify SMB to support in case SMB version 1 is set to false dash dash ADCS dash dash template this template doesn't have to be like uh, this template is actually uh, we are going to use the template for the domain controller here which is like by default it's not vulnerable but we can use this dash dash template domain controller adcs smb to support the target was specified so let's start our ntlm relay open another tab now we will use petit putum to trigger i already told you i have two domain controllers so dc2 was the one which has certificate authority enabled and dc1 is my another domain controller so we will use python3 petit putum dot py dash u let's use reze which is a normal domain user we can verify it it's open up cmd net user reze slash domain net user reze slash domain Okay, it's a normal domain user. So again, it's from domain user to domain admins. So Reze is the user, dash P is the password. We need to specify the IP address of our Kali machine as well. If config, it's 192.168.0.136. 192.168.0.136 and the target IP is my domain controller one which is like 192.168.0.160 so let's trigger this machine account attack worked and you can see that we have got the certificate for that machine account let me show you base64 certificate of user DC1 dollar sign this dollar sign indicates that it's a machine account you can see that uh, authenticating against this certificate authority like this uh, device on which the certificate authority is enabled as berserk slash dc1 dollar sign dollar sign means it's a machine account so we have got the we have got the certificate for the machine account of domain controller one so now let's use rubius let me open up a powershell window cd into downloads let me clear let me increase the screen size i think it's how do we okay so this also looks good uh one now we need to get like supply the certificate and get the ticket granting ticket for that machine account dc1 dollar sign that can be done using rubius ask tgt because we are asking for the ticket granting ticket for that user which is dc1 dollar sign and we need to specify that domain which is berserk dot local slash dc is 192.168.0.170 which is our certificate authority slash pass the ticket ptt slash certificate certificate and paste the certificate press enter asking for ticket ticket successfully imported so you can verify this using a command k list this will show you the cached tickets so you can see we have a ticket for dc one dollar sign at the rate berserk dot local so now that we have that this ticket granting ticket for this machine account of domain controller one 
now we can uh, try to do dc sync attack dc sync attack is where uh, you can basically dump all the through dc sync attack you can basically dump all the hashes of all the users in the domain so we will use mimikatz to do that i have already i already have mimikatz on my system run it and we will do lsa dump dc sync slash domain is berserk dot local and all for all hashes and csv format as you can see we have successfully dumped all the like hashes of all the users in the domain now uh, let me which user do we want to use we can check makima I think I created added Makima to the domain admins user in the last video. Web client workstation takeover. Let me net user Makima slash domain. You will see that it belongs to the domain admins group. So we will use the we can use the hash of like any domain admin. It doesn't matter. You can use Guts as well. That Guts is also a domain admin in my lab. So copy the hash this is the anti hash copy this hash of uh, makima user which is a domain admin go to your kali linux use crack map exact smb 192.168.0.160 or 70 because both are domain controllers dash u is makima dash hash supply the anti hash and dash x no first let's see if we get pawned or not okay as you can see we have got pawned that means we have like high privileged access on this dc1 it could be that we have dc sync rights it could be that we have our user is a member of domain admins in this case our user is a member of domain admins so let's add another domain admin for proof of concept so dash x so that it uses cmd net user pen test and the password will be p at the rate ssword slash add slash domain okay i forgot quotation mark command completed successfully now let's add this pen test user to the group domain admins group net group domain admins pen test slash add it looks good command completed successfully okay now let's check the if our user is member of the domain admins group or not net group domain admins and as you can see we have our pen test user a member of domain admins group so this is what esc8 attack is now let me recap we have web enrollment enabled and if you have web enrollment enabled we can basically using pity putum first we using we will use pity putum to trigger the authentication of the machine account of domain controller relay it through ntlm relay x like relay it to to the certificate authority to the web server uh, website of the certificate authority and using that we will get the certificate for that machine account using that certificate through rubius we can get the ticket granting ticket for that machine account then we can use mimikatz to basically perform dc sync attack to dump all the hashes in the domain after that we can use any of the domain admin domain admin hash to basically add our user to the domain admin or create a new user and add it to the domain admins group for proof of concept and dc sync attack is basically when you have get changes and get changes i think get replication and get replication changes all something like this right so basically uh, dc sync is like domain controllers need to be in sync so that they can communicate with each other and dc sync rights are only to high privileged users so i can uh, so that's uh, esc8 attack for you uh, that's it for this video and thank you for watching